careful. Have your ear tuned to the Father. Have your ear tuned to the Spirit of God that speaks it to you and tells you, yeah, you shouldn't have done that. Or you know better than that and don't do it. Half the things we do that are out of the will of God can be avoided if we pay attention to God. Well, matter of fact, everything can be avoided if we pay attention to God. So there's that danger of, of willfully doing things that are not right with God. If you know it's wrong, I mean, don't do it. Don't become careless and undisciplined as the Bible teaches. And then also in Hebrews chapter number 12, verse 18, if we backslide, if we turn our back on God, or if we just face a danger, it is a danger of refusing to hear the Word of God. You know, there's a danger of, of, taking the, of not taking the Word of God seriously. There's a danger of not taking the, the preaching or the teaching of the Word of God. There's a danger of not taking it seriously. Oh, they're not talking to me. No, it's the Word of God that does the talking. It's the Word of God that does the preaching. God help us preachers to be mouthpieces of Him, but not to try to insert our own, our own thinking, but God let us tell what you want us to tell. There's a danger of not heeding the things of God and not believing the Word of God. There's a danger there. So you that are reading through the Bible with us, and we're giving out Scripture on Sunday night, we'll be doing that again tonight, and you're reading the book of the Bible, listen to what it says and let it teach you let it, don't, listen, don't forsake the Word of God because that's your road map, that's your way to live. But you get out of the will of God, there's a danger there of forsaking the Word of God. Now I dare say to you today that the devil fights you over two things particularly in your everyday life. And one, it's your prayer life. And two, it's your Bible reading. And I'm seeing everybody nod their head. Listen, if you pray and read the Word of God, the devil's already way behind. Because he can't, he can't do nothing with your prayer life. He can't do nothing with what you read in the Word of God. Thy word is I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. God help me. God help me to read the Bible. God help me to pray more. That I not ignore what the Word of God says. What will you do with the Word of God? How will you take the Word of God? <coughs> I've always said this, if I'm preaching something that you don't like and it's in the Word of God, then it's for you. And if I'm preaching something and it's from the Word of God and I don't, you know, it hits me where I need to be hit, it's for me. And I'm not going to get mad at me. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to try to get try to get help with it. It's like the, you know, like the mailman. I can't help it if he delivers bills, but they ain't use me getting mad at him. He's just delivering the mail. No use you getting mad at the Word of God because it's just telling you what's right. Amen. I'll ask you this morning, are you in danger? Are you in danger? As we've looked at some things in the book of Hebrews. Father, we thank you for the Word of God today. Lord, we've tried our very best to be mindful of you. And I pray, God, that what we've said, Lord, has been a help to someone. God, we just pray now, God, that you bless. If there's anyone here that don't know you today, Lord, may today they come to know you so they'll understand what it is to live for the Lord. There's someone here today that's saved, but if backslid on God, Lord, touch him out today, I pray in Jesus' name.